All right, folks, so the Oscar nominations are this upcoming Monday, March 15th. And, uh, you know, in the line of uh, all of these award races, we have just had the BAFTA nominations released and the Critics' Choice occurred. So let's talk about them both. All right, first I'm going to do the Critics' Choice. Uh, I'm just going to look at them here, sort of what I've been doing with all the other award videos. Uh, best picture, I did predict Nomadland. If you saw my Golden Globes uh, reaction video, I did swap them last minute, uh, which I should not have done because obviously that hurt me. I did have Nomadland here. Oh, and I should mention quickly, folks, not to brag, but I was number eight out of 2,095 people. I predicted these pretty well. I believe only two categories I was off on, and we'll get to those obviously. But, you know, the Critics' Choice, I feel like, again, this is one of my first years being involved in the awards race and sort of predicting. Uh, but I do feel like these are some of the more predictable awards just because it, it does sort of represent the public's opinion more than any of the other, uh, you know, sort of more elite races. And the BAFTA uh, are usually semi-predictable, but of course, we'll get into why they weren't this year. So Nomadland for Best Picture, saw that coming. Uh, Best Director. Uh, Chloe Zhao, again, unstoppable force, no doubt about it. Best Actress, Carrie Mulligan. I predicted her at the uh, Globes, and she's still my favorite. Not, f not Don't get me wrong, not my favorite performance. Uh, I will talk about that in a future Oscar video that I have prepared, but the my favorite to win, my predicted uh, at the Oscars, and then Best Actor, again, unstoppable force in Chadwick Boseman. Best Supporting Actress, I did get this one wrong. Uh, but, you know, I probably should have seen it coming because Maria Bakalova is sort of sweeping. Uh, well, I don't want to say that because she lost at the Globes. But again, it is sort of the one that is representative of the public opinion. Again, I don't personally see it. Uh, so I guess maybe I let myself get a little carried away with my Amanda Seyfried prediction. But makes sense. Whatever. Best Supporting Actor, Daniel Kaluuya. Happy for him. Great performance. Another, I, at this point, unstoppable one. Not quite at the level of Chloe Zhao or... Um, no Madland or Chadwick Boseman, I would say, but certainly, you know, I, I predict he will, of course, win the Oscar. Uh, best Original Screenplay, I did get this one wrong, too, because, you know, I was starting to get in the mindset of don't bet against Trial of Chicago 7, because another upset that I predicted at the Globes was that you can see that in my predictions video and reactions, I suppose, is that uh, Trial of the Chicago 7 uh, would lose to Promising Young Woman, because, again, I thought Promising Young Woman was representative of the people's opinion and it turns out that it was and I just flip flopped them at the different ceremonies so uh, honestly that Oscar race might be keep an eye out for that one best adapted screenplay Nomadland again I think this is a sure bet at a lot of uh, the awards best film ensemble maybe the lock of the night yeah I put my 500 points there uh, Trial of Chicago 7 uh, easily easily the best film ensemble considering you have like eight or eight or so top tier actors like some of the best actors to uh, have ever worked in the industry and certainly in the last decade even uh 2000s the century uh but yeah lock of the night along with another one uh best foreign film i'll go ahead and skip over there i also put my final points there minari easy you know the globes uh if you'll recall in my globes videos they have the backlash because they put minari only in the international foreign film category uh, and they didn't put in the picture, the best film, but the Critics' Choice did, so they didn't really get that backlash because it is still allowed to compete in the main competition, but it did win there, so good for it. Best comedy film, Palm Springs. Again, the Critics' Choice are the people's one, so if it seems like a lot of people like the Palm Springs, they probably do, which is why it won. Uh, Alan Kim, best young actor or actress. I saw that one coming. He's just a really cute kid, you know, in a movie that a lot of people like. Uh, you're seeing a lot of news of the world resentment. I, it's like a film I actually quite liked. Uh, you know, maybe not as good as Minari, but uh, unfortunate that it's getting that sort of response. Best Cinematography, Nomadland. Uh, it is better than Mank. I'm sad to see Mank getting shut out, though, because I really did like that film. Best Costume Design, Ma Rainey. Easy. Best Editing, Trial of the Chicago 7 and Sound of Metal. Uh, so a tie there. And again, that could be a competitive race. I do still think that Best Editing will probably go to Trial of the Chicago 7 uh, at the Oscars and a lot of the other awards because, you know, it is very impressive there. But uh, Sound of Metal wasn't bad either. And again, poor Mank. Best Hair and Makeup, Ma Rainey, easy. Best Score, Soul, easy. Lock. Uh, best Song, Speak Now. I predicted that and I assume that one will win the Oscar and uh, the Globes were just a little 
a little crazy with IOC. Best production design, Mank. There's Mank's award, and by God, does it deserve it because wow. And best visual effects, Tenet. So there's the Critics' Choice. I did very well there. Uh, and the BAFTAs, I did not. So at the Critics' Choice, I had a 90% accuracy rating. At the BAFTAs, I had a 50% accuracy rating, which you would think would land me, uh, you know, pretty close to the bottom. But considering no one knew what to predict, I only, I mean, not a great spot, but 489 out of 2,445. It's not that bad, you know? Best picture. This is the one I put all uh, my little bet points. So you can see 500 bet points. Uh, uh, so I got four nominees. Poor man got snubbed for the Mauritanian. Oh, and I'm just going to say quickly. Uh, if you know anything about the BAFTAs this year. Uh, so last year they nominated, I'm pretty sure everyone in an acting category was white. Uh, and so this film to sort of diversify it a little bit more, they selected a jury to watch all of, not all categories, I think, uh, but all of the acting categories for sure. So if you see random picks in here, that's what it was. Director, actor, British film, uh, and I think some of the others to watch all of the films on the long list and uh, nominate them. So that's what you see here. And then the actual BAFTA uh, Academy will vote on said nominees. So if you want my opinion, I think that's stupid. Of course, I like diversification. I hope that what the Oscars have done recently with their diversity rules will uh, hopefully be a better system so that other organizations like the BAFTA can acknowledge that because some of these films are out of nowhere. And you know, if the people have said, right, like if the BAFTAs want to become this sort of uh, critics group, like, you know, the New York, blah, 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 all these pre-circuits, like not the Globes, BAFTAs, Oscars are typically the big ones. If they want to become that more niche one, that's fine. But I do think it is odd that, you know, the people voting to pick the winner, the winning films are, of course, not the ones nominating it. So I appreciate the attempt to diversify, but I do think that it is a very stupid attempt. And we will get into why. But anyways, Best Picture, Mank got snubbed for Mauritanian. Good film, not better than Mank. Best Director. <sighs> yeah, okay. Uh, I don't have the winners here, actually. No Man, Lana Minari, I predicted. Uh, and uh, here, actually, I'll pull that. Give me a sec. Best Direction, I have it here. Okay, so Minari obviously got nominated. And Chloe Zhao, who is, again, unstoppable and will likely win this award. And then you have, you know, four, a ton of foreign films. I don't know what Rocks is, but that got nominated a lot. Another Round, which I hope to see soon because apparently that's a great film. Uh, you have, what else, what else, what else? Best Actor, Riz Ahmed. Nice to see him there. Chadwick Boseman, Anthony Hopkins, Mads Mikkelsen, Tahar Rahim. I actually did quite well in that category because I did predict that they would have Tahar Rahim. But, of course... I didn't even know that they. this was one of the, you know, I wasn't really super aware on the new rules regarding the jury, but Gary Oldman did get snubbed. And so uh, a lot of the British picks that sort of people expect the BAFTAs to like sort of got snubbed here because, again, you will see Olivia Coleman, who was thought to be the biggest lock uh, in that category for sure, and a lot of the acting categories in general, uh, miss out entirely. But anyways, Best Actor I did well in, and that's another one, thank God, that I put my points in, and thank God I did well in there. Uh, Maria Bakalova, again, I really don't understand what people see in her performance, but uh, apparently the BAFTA jury liked it, and Yu Jung Yun, uh, great to see that. Uh, best Supporting Actor, Daniel Kaluuya, Locke, Leslie Odom Jr., and nice to see Paul Racy there. Who'd they put there? They put um, Best Supporting Actor, yeah, Alan Kim, I guess, but really one of the best performances, Clark Peters. Into Five Bloods. I mean, I can't even remember his character, to be honest with you. Barry Key. I mean, God, some of these picks are just horrible. I'm sorry. Yeah, very disappointing. Uh, Dominique Fishback, Judas, I guess is fine. I, and I just don't know a lot of these films. County Lines. Okay, I mean, whatever you want to do. Oh, and I forgot to mention. So, did I mention Best Actress? If I didn't, I'm going back to it. But Best Actress, uh, no Carrie Mulligan. Frances McDormand, of course. Uh, Vanessa Kirby, which I don't know, I'm not going to say, but Vanessa Kirby, uh, great to see her get nominated because I love that performance. Uh, and then I put, <laughs> they really threw for a loop there because, you know, again, Rock's 40 year old version, uh, His House Clemency, ridiculous nominations. Best original screenplay, I do believe these were voted on by the regular Academy members. Let me know down below if I'm wrong. But uh, Trial of Chicago 7, Promising Young Woman, Mank. Glad to see Mank get in there because it's an amazing screenplay. Another round rock. So maybe it wasn't because uh, the, those, yeah, I don't think it was because uh, that jury really liked rocks. And then adapted screenplay again, I did sort of well in 
with the father, easy Nomadland, Mauritanian, and one night in Miami missed out uh, for what the dig. Come the White Tiger. I heard that film was bad. Uh, what do I know? Jesus Christ, man. Best casting. Uh, the Trial of the Chicago Seven somehow missed out on best casting, uh, which is egregious because that film has one of the best casts in recent memory. Uh, but hey, what can you do? What did get nominated there? Best casting. Yeah, okay. That's great. Rocks, Calm with Horses, uh, Minari Judas. Okay, you know what? You do you, Baftas. And best animated feature, Soul Wolf Walkers. I don't really care, you know, as long as those two get nominated and then they nominate Onward over the Willoughbys, who cares? Uh, and folks, that is both the Baftas and the Critics' Choice. Uh, I maybe will respond to the Baftas when the awards get announced. Probably not. Maybe we'll see. Uh, but my, the Oscars, of course, are coming up. I plan to do a prediction video of the Oscar nominations, hopefully. Uh, I've been predicting these for about a year now, of course, so maybe. Maybe things might go my way. Maybe I'll get a Critics' Choice, sort of 90%. Maybe I'll get a BAFTA 50%. Uh, and I also plan to react to when the nominations happen. So mark your calendars for March 15th, Monday, next Monday. Uh, and folks, I will see you then. I've been ED, e e I can't even talk. These nominations are so baffling that I can't even talk. Baffling? Let's make it a thing, folks. Those nominations are so baffling. It doesn't really work. But anyways, I have been... EDPC reviews got to enunciate, enunciate so that uh, you can hear me. I'm talking too long. I've been EDPC reviews. You have been amazing, and I will see you folks in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>